Hello, my lovely water signs. Welcome to Golden Heart Tarot. My name is Ren. I hope you all are doing well today. I want to thank you guys for liking and subscribing um, and also for your amazing comments and support. It really means the world to me. Y'all are awesome. So this love, career, and finance reading is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or if water is highly aspected in your chart or if you just want to be a water sign today, this will be for you. As usual, we have three groups to choose from. Timestamps will be in the description for each shuffle, or if you want to jump straight into the reading, they will be there too. Group one, we have create or destroy water. Group two, control water. And group three, Sleet Storm. Take a moment to look these over and I will see you at your reading. Hello, group one. If you chose create or destroy water, this will be our energy clear and shuffle. Holy Spirit, angels in my ancestral army, thank you for your protection and guidance. Please give us a clear and accurate reading. Allow the divine to, sh to shine through in positivity and clear the space of all negative energy. Do not allow my current life experiences to cloud this reading in any way. Send protective and healing energy to those watching this reading. In genuine service to the collective, amen. Hello, group one, water signs. If you chose create or destroy water, this will be your reading. 
In the description box, I have listed a Bible verse, angel number, and a song, if you want to check that out. On the left side will be your love and romance reading, and on the right side will be our career and finance. Let's start out with love. Our oracle card is number 33, Chaos and Conflict. Let me read your relationship message real quick. Stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition. The incessant need to be right will only serve to prolong the conflict that deep down you want to be resolved. This is an opportune moment to learn about your values, your sense of self, what's really important to you. Some things are non-negotiable. If that's true, it's not necessary to fight. Can you find a way through the stormy emotions to higher ground? Soon the air will clear and you will be in a much better place than before, for the storm will have passed, blazing a path for new growth in its wake. Things can become electric and enlightened, always better than before, if you use this time constructively. So I think Spirit's saying to focus on yourself for the time being. Let me see what else I get from the card here. I see a transformation. You may have gone through a glow up recently. A situation transforming. Masks coming off. The desert is really standing out for me too. So it's like um, a situation that's barren. So something's got to change in order to get out of this and grow something new. And the main card here, let's see what I get. Getting pregnancy for some of you. I'm also getting a big question mark. There's, there's also something about birds. I don't, I don't know what Spirit's trying to tell me with that. But birds might be significant. Mm, okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, numbers that might be significant uh, are three. Um, three is about a solid building a solid foundation, having something real. It could also mean communication and um, remaining optimistic. In your tarot, we have nine of swords, justice, three of pentacles, king of cups, queen of pentacles, and temperance. So from what I'm seeing from your cards, oh, let me do um, signs that we might be dealing with here. So we've got air, water, and earth. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Extra credit if they have Mars and Gemini or Libra. Mars in Capricorn, Scorpio, Capricorn again, and I think that's it, yeah. So from your cards here, it seems like there was a situation that caused a lot of pain. And it feels like is something that was held on to because there was no closure, no justice in the situation. You both could have been from, been very different from each other. You could have been from completely different cultures, different races, you know, take your pick on that one, but very different from one another. It could have been long distance. But I'm seeing there was no real ending to it. There's maybe no apology. Something like that. Now this situation might have ended, but I'm, I'm seeing a, for some of you, I am seeing a renewal. It's very slow going. You might be talking to each other a little bit, or you might be message, messaging each other or, you know, some sort of maybe even hidden communication or you're just watching each other, something like that. 
but it's like you both are refusing. It's like you're trying to work together on this very slowly, taking things very carefully, but refusing to look at what happened or talk about what happened, this conflict that you had. This King of Cups is definitely looking towards the future, but this Queen of Pentacles, she's kind of side-eyeing back here. <laughs> she's not, she's being very careful. Like she's not completely moving forward. She still sees this. She's like, I'm waiting for you to show me that you're up to no good, basically, or you owe me or something like that. But he's straight up not looking at it. <laughs> he's like, nope, nothing happened on, let's keep going. It feels like the situation is very um, tenuous. It may be very passionate. There's a lot of fire in the situation, in the connection between you both. I'm really drawn to this fire and this chain here. You could feel bound to each other. And I see you both trying to be very patient with one another, but this is like, building on glass it's um it's like this situation is very fragile like one wrong move and it could all fall apart and you both are trying to balance the situation i see you both wanting to try and you both trying in the situation it's like you're playing off one another to see what the next step should be. Now that's for you, those of you that are in a situation like that where you've dealt with this person in the past and you are just now maybe reconnecting a little bit. There is unfinished business in this situation. Now for those of you that are not dealing with a past situation You've moved on from a past situation which you did not receive the apology or closure that you believe you deserved. But there is a new energy coming towards you, a King of Cups, who wants to build with you. This person is very compassionate they are a little secretive. Um, they have a very strong sex drive. But this is the type of person that likes music and art. They're very kind and tolerant. And they look on you very favorably. They want to work with you, build something with you. They see you as being very nurturing someone that is very responsible. Some of you may be working parents and they like this. They do see you as being very careful. I see them wanting to try things out with you. So that could be coming towards some of you. Other cards we have freedom of movement Yeah, see some of you, like one misstep and things could go wrong here. So let your action or inaction be appropriate to the situation. We also have conjure woodland beings. See, this is being afraid to open up to a new relationship. Could be some of you are still still healing from the past and you may feel a bit closed off like you can't open up again or you're afraid to open up again i see there's so much love and magic inside of you it's very beautiful 
All right, let's move on to your career and finance reading. Career and finance, we have round and round, number 25. Let me read your prosperity message for this one. If you're in a scenario that appears to be an echo of something that's already happened in the past in your work life, it is because you're being invited to see what you couldn't see before. This is a perfect time for you to look at the deeper motives you have and your attraction to the op opportunities and people who have entered your life to be part of your journey to prosperity. Who helps you navigate? Who sabotages you? Who supports you? What are the familiar signs and your responses to them when you find yourself in a repeat of a pattern of the past? It's a good time to get a coach or mentor who can help you see what you can't on your own. Repeat what works, not what doesn't. Then you'll free yourself from the old cycles and cease going round and round. So you may be seeing that you're or feeling that you've been here before in your career and finances, in your work life. You might have started a new job and thought it would be different and maybe it seems very close to the same thing that you were dealing with before. do I get from this here? Some of you might dye your hair different colors. You might wear trinkets in your hair, something like that. I see you all having very beautiful energy. Some of you may resonate with having mermaid vibes something creative and magical about you. Some of you may work with animals or something with like sea life or an aquarium. You might own fish or be interested in that. You might live close to the ocean like spending time on the beach, something like that. Let's see what I get here. I see you moving away from something kind of like, you don't touch me. That kind of, that kind of vibe, <laughs> that kind of vibe. Like, it's like, um, <laughs> this is gonna sound bad. It sounds like when you like see someone you don't like and you just try to like Get really small so they won't see you like you hide behind something <laughs> It's like oh no here they come and you like hide behind a clothing rack or something like that <laughs> Some of you might cook or work in a restaurant might enjoy baking. All right. In our tarot, we've got six of wands, the eight of wands, five of pentacles, strength, nine of cups, and the moon. Numbers that may be significant the number eight and the number nine. Eight is about success and being a leader, having balance. Number nine is about serving humanity, growing, having new experiences. Signs you may be dealing with here. We have fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We've got Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we've got Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Extra credit if they have Jupiter and Leo, Mercury and Sagittarius, Mercury and Taurus, if they are a Leo, Jupiter and Pisces, or if they're a Pisces. So let's see what's going on here. 
I see a lot of success, a lot of public recognition, making a lot of progress. Something wonderful will be or has been attained. I see a lot of things changing very quickly. So if you haven't attained a certain, a specific goal, you will very soon. It might have taken you a long time to work towards this type of success, but it is coming in for you. Some of you may travel for work. I see you having to make quick decisions. I do see some financial loss or some worry about a financial loss. Something that is temporarily affecting your finances. But I see you being strong through it. It might require you to have control over yourself or to be persuasive or compassionate in some way. But you're definitely going to move through this this issue into a nine of cups, which is great. It is um, satisfaction. It's a wish come true. It's contentment. I think something that you believed was a loss was actually for your benefit. Because you had the strength to move through it and, and remain positive. Something that caused you this fear and anxiety was actually worked out to be in your favor. So I definitely see success very quickly moving towards you. A little bit of a scare, um, but this scare was kind of just an illusion and it ends up working out in your favor in the end. So, excellent. <laughs> it's really great stuff as far as career and finance go. All right, there's a little bit of scare, but not too bad. Nothing you can't handle. Message, you might be receiving a message soon. It's like his face doesn't change, his expression doesn't change, so it might be a message that you knew was coming in. It doesn't seem like it'll be surprising. Guardian of Faith. It being very protective over the things that you have. It's like kind of seeing through the BS. <laughs> Other cards we have. Voice. You may sing or speak for your work. Um, something having to do with your voice. Um, also, it might be you need to speak up about something. Taurus, April or May, the color green. Strong, dependable, sensual, and creative. Flame. This is kind of my uh, twin flame card. It's also reminding me of the temperance card here. So, patience. Uh, also, a fiery connection. So this might be between this King of Cups and you. Number six, finances, new opportunities, material possessions. Finances are looking good. New opportunities heading your way. October might be important. Intense emotions. Releasing your inhibitions. Having freedom and independence. Libra or Scorpio. And also music. So this could go along with this voice card. So you actually might be in music. In your career. Or if it's a hobby, you may want to um, think about making a career out of it. 
So group one, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you wanna comment below with your sign and that you chose group one, I would love to see that. All right, so you all take care and I'll see you next time. Hello group two, water signs. If you chose control water, this will be our energy clear and our shuffle. Holy Spirit, angels in my ancestral army, thank you for your protection and guidance. Please give us a clear and accurate reading. Allow the divine to shine through in positivity and clear the space of all negative energy. Do not allow my current life experiences to cloud this reading in any way. Send protective and healing energy to those watching this reading in genuine service to the collective. Amen. Hello, group two. If you chose control water, this will be your reading. In the description box, I have listed a Bible verse, angel number, and a song if you wanna check it out. The left side of your reading will be for love and romance. The right side will be career and finance. So let's start with the love side. Your Oracle card is number 45, time to go. And I'll read your relationship message. It's over, or it's over, or at the very least, the form this relationship has taken is no longer of service to you or the other person. This is a time of letting go, of knowing that the journey has come to its conclusion. That doesn't mean anything is lost. Although this card could speak to a breakup, drifting apart, or the end of a soul contract, it is more about release than destruction. Remember the saying, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, it's yours. If not, it never was. Endings are always a sign of new beginnings. If you want something deeper, walk away. So in this card, you can see through her dress. It's like being a ghost like something fading away. I see something feeling very magical from the past. I see a very tough cycle.
In this card, I immediately see the world card here from your tarot. So something ending, something new beginning. You may have gone back and forth with somebody, trying to work things out. I'm also getting the feeling of drowning pretty intensely. As far as numbers go, I see a lot of, well, I see ascending numbers, so eight, nine, 10. So that could be movement towards the end of a cycle as well. As far as signs go, we have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Extra credit if they are Capricorn. They have Mercury and Sagittarius are a fixed sign. So Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo. And again with the fixed signs. So yeah, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo. For your tarot, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, and the World. Very, very powerful cards here. Definitely a lot of movement, new things, definite change. Absolutely. The situation is changing, and it is changing quickly. And it goes straight along with this Oracle card here. It matches up perfectly. Now there are two scenarios I'm getting for this. One is that you tried to nurture a situation and it's like you just kind of were like, okay, I'm just playing the hand that I've been dealt. You were the responsible one. You were the ride or die. You were trying to make things work but you had some mental clarity. You had a breakthrough. Something changed in your perception of a situation. The thoughts of who you are in a relationship and who you are as a person. It's kind of like you've had to learn the hard way about something, but there is fast paced change. Could mean a journey for some of you air travel. I see you taking action. A new cycle is about to begin. Destiny. There's a turning point here. It's like once you started to, once you decided to let go of something, something else is coming in. Now this is where it could be two different scenarios after this point. First scenario, a new person is coming in. This emperor card right here. This is a divine masculine. This is someone that is in a place of authority. This is someone that has authority of some sort. This is someone that takes care of things, is very structured. It's a father figure. He's very protective. He's a very stable person. He's very grounded in the 3D world, okay? And once you meet this person, this will close out this old cycle that you were in. Okay, that's the first scenario. Second scenario is that the emperor is you. This is you coming into your power after realizing something. This is you taking care of things. This is you having structure, you having the authority you standing in your power and making strong decisions. And by doing so, this will close out a cycle and you will come to the end and complete and be able to close a door on the things that you were in and whatever situation you were in. This change will be very successful and very rewarding for you. 
It's almost like the universe is giving you a gift for closing something out, for being able to make decisions and change. It could be the change in how you act in a relationship. So you're moving away from being this, you know, ride or die, I'm always there for you, nurturing, um, even providing financially for your significant other, someone that's very practical. You could be moving away from that energy and standing up for yourself here. Or you're finding out the truth about something. Some things are changing dramatically for you and it all has to do with your decisions and your perception and how your thoughts change regarding a situation or how you're regarding yourself. It's almost the feeling of being released from, from jail, from spiritual jail. It's kind of what I'm getting. Or, you know, um, kind of working through your karma. All right, we've got secret chest. Yeah, there's definitely a gift of the, from the universe heading your direction. Secrets have been kept from you and you're finding something out. Or you're changing your perception on a situation. Color spray. Yeah, this gives me Eight of Wands vibes. Something is changing rapidly. Rapid change and it's going to be amazing. You are going to feel amazing for having gone through this. Whatever it is, it's it's going to be crazy. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. You're going to feel great. You're going to feel great. All right, let's head into your career and finance reading. For your Oracle card, we have Fork in the Road, number 13. Let me read your prosperity message here. You've come as far as you can on this part of your journey, and now you're faced with a choice. Inherent in this choice is the need for change, for evolution, and for a bettering of your circumstances. Narrow it down to just a single question. Who do I need to become, and what do I need to believe, in order to live a life of prosperity? Answer honestly and from the heart. Then the decision about which way to go will be effortless. Know that abundance is all around you. Choose to see it, and it will be easier to settle on a direction. For the way will be made clear by your intuition, which knows how to steer you toward your well-being. So it's about asking the right questions and trusting yourself. Yeah, I definitely see options. I get, don't listen to other people on this. Or take... Um, Advice with a grain of salt. Listen to yourself. Something about owls. <laughs> I'm getting travel light. Some of you might be traveling. Need to let go of something. I see kind of going through the dark, not sure what's what's going to happen or where you're going to end up. Having to kind of put your trust and faith in something when you're not sure if it'll work out. In your tarot, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, Page of Cups, the Eight of Cups, Justice, and the Six of Pentacles. Numbers that could be important. I see ascending numbers over here too. So five, six, seven, eight. Could be trying to, it's like focusing on your self-confidence, having an adventure, new opportunities heading your way, following your intuition and having balance and having the drive to go after what you want. The Seven of Pentacles with the Five of Wands. You might be looking at something and wondering whether it was worth it. Whether it was worth the competition, the conflict, the disagreements. 
And you could be seeing it as the work you've put in is being unfulfilling. The Page of Cups with the Eight of Cups talks about remaining positive, also being on the right path, being curious, having um, curious about your opportunities and possibilities. There also be good news heading towards you. Once again, there's kind of this disappointment. Like, can you let go of the past? Leaving behind something in order to follow your passions. It's following your gut instinct on a situation. So it could be some a new opportunity heading your direction or being offered towards you. And you're wondering whether you should take it or not. And justice is about making a decision, having a choice. With the Six of Pentacles, it's definitely the choice that you're going to make is going to be successful monetarily. Six of Pentacles is about equal give and take. Focusing on charity and generosity. Could be you're, you'll be working with someone. Collaborating in order to build something new. If you are going to be collaborating with someone, um, if you have to sign legal documents, make sure you get them looked over by a lawyer before signing. Just kind of be careful about that. Yeah, there's definitely a decision you're gonna have to make. And also, when you're looking at the investment that you've put in in a situation, wondering whether it was worth it or not, just know that you are doing much better than you realize. You also could have made an investment in a business and or an investment into something that didn't really pay off the way you were hoping it would and moving in a different direction. And this direction might not make a whole lot of sense to others, but it's something that you're passionate about. It's a choice that you're making and it will be successful. I feel like you will have someone that will support you in that, in that decision. And you'll work together to create something. So a lot of decisions going on, but most of the intensity is in the love and romance side here. Other cards, we have Mending. So you're trying to either fix your career or like maybe a poor investment with your money, trying to mend the damage that was caused. Enhance ability. I get that you have a lot of skills in a lot of different areas. You really need to look into those and use those. Use your skills to the best of your ability. Following new opportunities. All right, and the rest of your cards here. We have Eagle. See from a broader perspective. Allow your heart to guide you and opportunities will present themselves. Being resilient. Accept life's challenges with courage, determination, and confidence. Sheep, innocence, childlike qualities, vulnerability. Desire to conform to social norms. Yeah, I see you moving away from that. <laughs> I see that doesn't really work for you. Um, yeah, conforming isn't really the vibe I'm getting off of this group. So, wish. Yeah, there's a wish that's going to be granted to you. From the universe. 
star. So this is like the star card. So there's hope in a situation. Remain positive and know that you will make it through whatever you need to. You have everything inside you that you need. Raccoon, being adaptable, looking at the entire picture, transforming, and revealing all of the facades of your personality. So using your gifts. Could be uh, being watched on your social media, people that wanna collaborate with you, people that wanna have relationships with you. It's also looking straight at this world card, so. Don't be scared of an ending of something. <laughs> Because these eyes look a little worried to me right now. Um, yeah, you might be like, oh no, a cycle's ending. I don't want to leave this situation I'm in or whatever. But I see that it's your decision. Your decision to change things. So, when you're ready to change them, this will be what happens. Okay, but if you're not ready, you're not ready. But I see you moving into that energy. And when you do, it's going to happen fast and things will change. Bat, being sensitive, aware of your surroundings, seeing through illusion, being social, having strong family ties, being nurturing, good communication skills, high perceptive skills, and commitment to your life journey. All right, group two, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me. If you would like to comment below with your sign and that you chose group two, I would love to see that. So until next time, I'll see you later. Hello, group three water signs. If you chose sleet storm, this will be our energy clear and shuffle. Holy Spirit, angels in my ancestral army, thank you for your protection and guidance. Please give us a clear and accurate reading. Allow the divine to shine through in positivity and clear the space of all negative energy. Do not allow my current life experiences to cloud this reading in any way. Send protective and healing energy to those watching this reading. In genuine service to the collective, amen.
Hello group three, water signs. If you chose sleet storm, this will be your reading. In the description box below, I have listed a Bible verse, angel number, and a song if you wanna check it out. This side will be your romance and love situation. And on the right side will be your finance and career side, okay? So let's start with the love side. We've got Oracle card number three, bet Between Worlds. Now I'll read your relationship message. This is a time to explore the new energy between you and another. It is not a moment for certainty, but rather for discovery and curiosity. You don't know yet if this will last forever, so allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected back to you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself. What do you need? What do you like or dislike? What values are important to you? You are in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. All right. Let's see if I get something from this card here. I'm getting celebration. You might meet someone at a party or maybe around a celebration a holiday or a birthday. I also get that you are looking fine. <laughs> you're looking very attractive. So whatever you're doing, keep it up. Cause yeah, I see you moving towards like feeling really good about yourself, get some new clothes, looking real good. Being a queen. I also think you have spirit with you or an angel, ancestor, somebody is around you helping you out. It's got your back. And there's this little hummingbird right here that's looking the opposite direction. It's like looking back at what you've been through. Making sure there's nothing coming back at you. <laughs> And for Sleet Storm, let's see what I get. I'm drawn to this shadow that's up behind everything. So something might be hidden from you right now. Something or someone or a situation is hidden from you. I also get something breaking and it's causing um, a ripple effect. So it could be maybe a change of perception or a thought pattern. And this change is going to just kind of trickle out into other parts of your life. Or there's gonna be a situation or something that happens that is gonna do that in your life. Like it's gonna change, just it's gonna to touch every part of your life. All right, the numbers to look for here, are some important ones. Uh, it's probably three is the one that's sticking out the most. This is about having a solid foundation, something real. So if you're looking for something real, well, that is coming towards you. It's also about luck and being optimistic. For your tarot, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Fool, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. It's looking really good for you guys um, on the love side of the reading here. Signs we could be talking about. Uh, we've got Earth. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We've got Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And we also have Wands. So we've got Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, extra credit if they have Mercury and Taurus. Venus in Cancer, Moon in Taurus, if they're in Aries, or Jupiter in Pisces. Doesn't have to be, they could just be um, in that type of energy, this person that is coming towards you. Now I do see that you've been left out in the cold in a love situation here in the recent past. Um, 
maybe a crush or that things didn't work out with or something that left you disappointed. Uh, maybe um, you were rejected in a situation or felt that way um, or something didn't work out. I see you being left out in the cold on something, but we do have the full, a new beginning coming for you and the Six of Pentacles, which is about uh, giving and receiving. So a new opportunity for um, a relationship that you get as much as you receive, that, no. A new opportunity, a new relationship coming towards you where there's equal give and take in the situation. The Three of Wands is about achievement uh, with honor, attaining the things that you want being feeling that you're at the height of your power. So you might have been going through a glow up, kind of like with the Between Worlds Oracle card here. So if you've been going through a glow up, you're looking fine and you're gonna be feeling good and it's going to definitely draw in somebody or somebody's. <laughs> Nine of Cups is wished to come true. So if you've been trying to manifest a certain person or a certain situation, well, it's headed your way. All right, I see you, um, in a relationship that is very satisfying. There is a lot of emotion, a lot of gratitude, uh, a lot of happiness. This is someone that is kind and supportive and is wanting to um, really treat you the way that you deserve to be treated and really wants to put in the work. So yeah, it's, beautiful, beautiful things coming towards you in your love situation. If you're not looking for love or anything like that, I do see you at the height of your power um, and still have looking amazing and really being a heartbreaker. <laughs> and I see multiple opportunities coming towards you and it's up to you whether you want to take them or not. Or if you just want to sit in your own power and be a goddess, you can do that as well. Live your best life. <laughs> All right. Other cards, we have divine favor. So yes, I do believe that you have an ancestor, angel, uh, spirit looking over you on this and um, is really moving you into a period where you are going to just be amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Uh, dispel magic. Yeah, so I see a situation that was going on um, and you're finding break, finally breaking free from that situation or that feeling that you were having, that um, feeling trapped in a situation, like there was no way of getting out of it. Well, magic's gonna happen and just one day you're gonna be like, okay, I'm done with it and you're gonna release it and let it go. Um, and that is when things are gonna start moving towards a new beginning. If it's with, if you want someone back, it could be they're heading back towards you for a new beginning. It could be something brand new. Or like I said, it could just be you being ultra powerful and being able to choose who and what you want. So yeah, look forward to that. <laughs> All right, on your career and finance side here, we have Oracle card number 17, The Fates. Let me read your prosperity message here. Your experiences concerning prosperity and abundance are beyond your personal control right now. You are being invited to accept what is unreservedly. This could be a temporary situation seemingly thrust upon you by the outside forces, but there is an underlying purpose you can't see that has been determined by the fates. It could be a situation you are unprepared for and you may not understand how it will benefit you in the moment. Do not fight the situation, write it out and see where it leads. Surrender to it, and the serenity you need to make good choices from here on out will be given to you. You will indeed flourish. All right, let's see what I get from this here. She is so beautiful in this card, and she's got like body glitter on and stuff. It's really, really pretty. See, so yeah, I glow up, <laughs> even on the finance side. There's, your finances are gonna be glowing up too, look at that. 
Yeah, I see different amounts of money coming in. I don't know whether you have a business, a small business, something like that, or a side hustle, but I see like, or maybe you work for tips or something like that. Um, I see some smaller numbers coming in, but also a giant tip coming in or a gift of some sort. And also some like medium sized gifts but just a lot of abundance coming in. Um, several streams of income coming in. Could be a bonus or extra holiday pay, something like that. Yeah, and I see this happening from now through summertime. Definitely. Just overall abundance from that. And in your Sleet Storm card, let's see what I get. I see things moving quickly and I do get multiple streams of income or something, small gifts. Could be investing. You might want to look into investing. But I see it like small amounts of money in different areas. Uh, what is that? Okay, I'm seeing something else in this card and I'm not quite sure what to make of it yet. Some of you might be getting an inheritance of some sort. But I see it being um, like an ancestral inheritance. It could be land, house, could be money. It could also be a gift, like something passed down from someone. I'm getting a watch or something like that. Or some information about loved ones that have passed on. If some of you dig into your heritage, your ancestral line, you might be coming into some information that will be interesting to you. I mean, that's kind of a strange message because usually you find something, but no, I see something that's gonna be of importance or something that your ancestors want you to know. Now there might be something more to that. I'm gonna keep that in mind as we go through your cards here. Okay, so numbers, let's see what we got. So not really one number, I'm getting a ascending, so uh, one, two, three. So you could have new beginnings in your career in finance, um, especially maybe in leader, well, especially if you are trying to move up into a leadership position or if you are creative, have a business being creative, also partnerships, a peaceful partnership, and then also um, building a strong foundation for your business or your finances, receiving communication, and also luck. In your tarot, we have King of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, Six of Wands, the World, Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. So in your partnerships, we have some signs that could be important. We do have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We've got Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Extra credit if they are Scorpio, they have Jupiter and Capricorn, Jupiter and Leo. If they are a fixed sign, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo. If they have Mercury and Virgo, I think that's it, yes. All right. So I see you having an accomplishment of some sort you may be working towards a, um, working on a project that is gonna end up 
coming to completion and being very successful. The King of Cups could be a boss or it could be you or a partner. This is someone that's very diplomatic. It's um, a kind person that thinks very favor favorably towards you. All right, this person is someone that's patient and tolerant. It's a good mentor. Somebody that likes music and art. With the Two of Pentacles, it could mean that you are working against the clock a little bit. You're just kind of juggling different things. Time management is a thing. You might need to pay attention to your time management and prioritize those things that you need to. I see you being very flexible with change and adapting well to um, your environment as far as career and finances go. If you travel, it could mean that you are going to have fortunate travel. And the six of uh, the six of wands is about success and good fortune. Something wonderful is going to be attained. Making progress on something and feeling very confident it could also mean some public recognition for some of you. But basically, it's success on a high level. With the world card, the world card is about completion, accomplishment, and also travel. So whatever you're working on, it is crowned for success. There is a lot of success in this. And it could have to do with working with your boss or a partner. And if it's something, a side hustle that you're doing on your own, well, your idea is going to really be fruitful because we've got the Ten of Pentacles as well, which is wealth and financial security, long-term success. It also means um, kind of a beginning and end, a complete existence, a well-being, sharing, abundance. So it goes along very well with the world card. And with the Ace of Swords, it's a breakthrough. Ultimate change is coming for you. So if you have been worried about your finances, well, I see a lot of things coming towards you um, just because of your own ideas and hard work. Or your ability to work with someone else or work with um, an authority figure of some sort will really, working with that person will really bring you into success. I see you being very clear on what steps you're going to be making, what steps you're going to be taking in order to, and maybe having, looking at a situation in a different way, having some new ideas that are really going to pay off in the situation. And ultimately, this payoff um, might actually lead to more ideas. So I'm really paying attention to all these pinnacles down here as well. And with the world card, the little stars around it. So it seems like one big idea kind of trickles off into many ideas that will also be successful. So excellent things also in your career and finance, guys. You are looking top notch, all right? <laughs> Nothing to worry about. You guys are doing great. Okay, so let me see what other cards we have here for you. We have silence. If you do have a new idea or something that you're working on, be careful who you tell. All right, do not allow people to steal your ideas. You might need to keep them to yourself and just be, just be careful about who you share them with, okay? Also, a project you're working on might need to be hush-hush about. Um, you know, not even sharing it with your significant other, okay? Just keep it to yourself and don't talk about it until it's done. Create food and water. Yes, so I see you creating a lot of abundance for yourself. Yep, and enough to share with others. Share with your community, able to donate. Your project or the things you're working on might also, for some of you, uh, might be about your community service. You might work for a nonprofit, something like that. All right, so extra cards we have for you guys before we close this out. Sunday, it's about an ending, um, preparing for a new beginning. 
So the world card right there and also the fool here. Sagittarius, November or December might be important. The color purple, um, extroverted, optimistic, funny, and generous. That sounds like someone from both sides of your reading here. Drama. Yep. Try to stay out of the drama as much as you can. <laughs> or you might be creating a lot of drama with your glow up. <laughs> uh, number nine. Uh, wisdom, maturity, completion, serve humanity. Dragonfly. Change and transformation. So right here, transformation, being adaptable. So over here, dive deeper into your feelings. Be on the lookout for illusions and deceit. Connect with nature's spirits. And then the whale, wisdom, physical and emotional healing, keeper of history. Okay, so that kind of brings me back to what I was seeing in this card here with your ancestral line. Yeah, there's something with history. A keeper of history. Uh, pay attention, your ancestors might be sending you some messages. You might be getting these in dreams. You might see synchronicities. Or you might be getting a message from a family member. The importance of family and community is here. Emotional rebirth, peaceful strength, and communication coming in. All right, group th three, well, that's what I have for you. If you want to, comment down below that you chose group three and what your sign is. I'd love to see that. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.